All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the Uncle Bogator channel. Tonight is bike night, and uh, Obama and I have been going to bike night pretty much every Wednesday, uh, except for like bad weather since we got here in October. Well, tonight. We're taking Day Day Gator. That's his name. He's all dolled up in his Harley Davidson shirt, his vest. He's got his hat in there. And since we got the sidecar, we are taking the electric scooter. We're going to fit in with all the Hell Yeah Brothers up there. Mom's going to put sunglasses on you. Let me put them on. You see? That way the wind doesn't get you in your eye. Oh, yeah. Can you guys hear the sound of my exhaust? <laughs> I had some lady one time. Um, I hope you guys can see. I, I tried to angle this camera here uh, where you could see him, but my arm might be in the way. I didn't really have a good place to mount it onto the uh, sidecar. Anyway, uh, we were riding one night. It was uh, me and him. He was on his electric bike. Woo! And... Uh, <laughs> You hear it back there? No, I see him. <laughs> Bouncing around. Yeah. Anyway, he was on his electric bike. I was on this one. And she said, is that electric? I said, yeah. She's like, it's so quiet. And I'm thinking, well, what did you expect it to sound like? <laughs> like we just established, it's electric. Well, there he is. I don't know. He's got mom's sunglasses on. He's not old enough to where he doesn't know that's not cool. <laughs> yeah, so the other day we were doing uh, 40, 42 miles an hour pretty much the whole time. And uh, looks like we're, we're going to struggle to get to 40 tonight. I don't know why. Maybe it's all that roast beef or beef pot roast I had for lunch. <laughs> oh, man, this thing's a lot of fun. And uh, I had... Gosh, I, I just put a video out, I don't know, a couple days ago of putting this sidecar on. Guys, I'm not going to do a whole lot of electric content, but uh, somebody, uh, I had to look it up. Somebody said, Uncle Bogator, you have officially jumped the shark. And I'm thinking, I ain't never jumped over a damn shark. I don't care. And I had to look it up. And I guess uh, it was originally coined for uh, like TV shows that... The direction had changed so much that it's lost its original quality. Guys, I have made some of my old videos available to view now. They weren't public for a long time. I have gone from fishing to skateboarding to anti-Harley Davidson to Royal Enfield to nothing but Harley Davidson. And now I'm sprinkling in some of this electric content. And uh, I don't know, you're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, one way or one way or the other, right? You don't. You can either watch it um, and like it, watch it, and don't like it, or, or you know, unsubscribe. God forbid. You know, I don't want people to unsubscribe, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm having fun, man. I, I, I responded to uh, both of those comments with, "This is fun, and I endorse fun." So, I mean, technically, with the sidecar on now, it's no longer th uh, two wheel content. But it started off with a two-wheel. I don't know. Some of you guys ride trikes and rikers and shit out there. So you're going to have to excuse the hell out of me if I'm going to uh, ride around on this electric thing. Yeah, I'm going to get past a bunch. <laughs> yeah, you've become the people we complain about on the streets. <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> but not in the sheets, baby. <laughs> no, uh, I, I'm usually the person that people complain about anyway. So on the streets is fine could take that little designator yeah this guy is so excited on that last video where i installed this uh sidecar um i had it mic'd up for a little bit of course he didn't know what to say and i told him don't talk you know too much because i'm trying to record some and he respected that but mostly he was just having a good time he didn't care about talking but i know he's gonna have a good time when we lived over in tampa and I worked at uh, Burt's Barracuda. The, the best thing about working at Burt's Barracuda uh, was its proximity and relationship with the OCC Roadhouse. Because it was so easy on country night, on 
Ike night, on Sunday night, on any night that ends in Y, to just walk over and have a beer and listen to live music, whatever. But on Thursdays, Bo Mama would bring him up. You know, I'd work till nine or whatever, and I'd get off, and he would dance. You know, be dancing to the music, and and uh, yeah, he always had a good time. We haven't taken him to this one yet. Uh, because Bo Mama and I have been riding. Oh, I gotta slow way down a turn right. Yeah, that and uh, there's never any really, really any kids up here. And uh, all, all of these places that are family friendly during you know daytime or certain times of day, they all have pretty strict rules on hey, after X o'clock, you know, kids have to be out of here. And, and I can respect that. You know, it's the land is D land. Sorry, everything's D D land, D Berry, D Leon Springs. But uh, you know, it's the average age is ah, a little bit up there. So I, I get that most places are going to cater to a crowd that can uh, properly enjoy the establishment. You know what I mean? Baby, are you uh, itching to get on it back there? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> Let me just drop a gear real quick. And... I mean, I'm not used to riding this slow, but me neither. I'm practicing for senior citizenship. Yeah, you're doing a great job. That way, when I get my double ARP card and my, wonder what kind of looks I'm going to get up here. <laughs> We're not, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet Damien don't care though. He's having a good time. I don't know. He don't give a shit. Riding with his daddy. I want to make sure this is nice and clear before I turn up here, even though it's just right around the corner. Oh, yeah, 100%. This thing is uh, waiting. Got his hands up. <laughs> He's having a good time. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, it's pretty full up here. That's kind of full. Okay, I'm going to park uh, right past this pole here. <laughs> Oops, right over the cone. <laughs> <laughs> so funny all right you guys have seen uh, plenty of bike nights in your day i'm sure uh we're just having a couple drinks tonight nothing too crazy we've already eaten bands up there taking a break i really love coming up here actually i have never recorded up here at a bike night so uh there's always a lot of bikes when we first come in like I said, Deland is an older town, so about 8, 8.30, this place pretty much clears out. But I'm going to show you some of the some of the nicer finds that you get out here, at least in my opinion. You guys could strangle me if you want. Hang a noose. You can always appreciate an Evo. I love an Evo. That's pretty sharp. And then, of course, one of the regulars up here always brings a shovel. That is a beautiful motorcycle. And then right next door, you've got this shovel bobber. Big, big fan of the bobber style. Very classic. How can you look at that and say, no, nah, I don't like that at all? A little bit of everything, man. You got Rocket Threes up here. You got trikes. You got Victories. You got Road Kings. And then we get to the star of the show. Yeah, the old electric bike with the uh, sidecar on it. Here comes my boy. Did you like riding up here? You're not gonna talk to me? Okay, Day Day Gator, tell me what your favorite part is about riding on the motorcycle. Uh, going to What? Going to places to eat, riding on the bike. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's what daddy likes doing too. I like that a whole lot. Did you like feeling that breeze on your hair and in your arms? Yeah. Just like going with us on the bikes. Yeah, that was fun, huh? Yeah, how you doing? yeah long. <laughs> <laughs> and that, so tonight was his very first public ride with us. I mean, aside from being out in the neighborhood and that little uh, stretch of road that I did with him on Sunday, this was like out in public. And you guys saw on the helmet cam that Bo Mama was right behind us, kind of as the guardian protector of all that is Uncle Bogey. Anyway, we're gonna finish uh, hanging out here, finish food. We're gonna wrap up these uh, couple of beers and then uh, head out. All right, fam, welcome back to the channel. Uh, interesting turn of events. Uh, as a lot of you guys have noticed, 
A lot of you guys may have seen over the last couple of videos, we have introduced the banana hammock into the stable of the swamp. Now I've heard your feedback. It's about a 50-50 mix. Some of you guys love it like I do, but a lot of you guys are very vocal that you absolutely hate it. And to that I say, oh well. But I did kind of take that to heart a little bit and I scoured the internet looking all over the world for somebody who might be willing to take this thing off my hand so that way you guys, the commenters, would be 100% satisfied because that's the kind of uncle I am. I've got nothing but love for you. No, but seriously, uh, I met my man Renzo here while I worked at Seminole Harley. How's it going? And uh, he, got some, um, he got some parts from me, some oil, and uh, he reached out to me. He said, dude, there's no way you bought that dyna. I had my eye on it. Would you be willing to trade? So today, we're gonna evaluate each other's bikes to see if that's what we wanna do. Let me show you this thing real quick. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Vicla look, but I wasn't going for a second Vicla because I got the Road King that's halfway, two thirds of the way. You guys have always heard me say my two favorite bikes in the Harley lineup are the Road King and the Heritage. So this is a 1995 Heritage Softail. Uh, the Dyna is a 1996. The only big difference between the two that I could find by doing some research is that the 1996 introduced some uh, the Deutsch connectors with a little bit more waterproofing and the wire connections. Other than that, pretty much the same. So I think we're going to uh, maybe ride around a little bit on each other's bikes and see how it is. All right, boys, here we go. Now, uh, in the span of two weeks, I've gone from uh, never really having any experience on Evos to about to ride my second one. He says I have to be careful uh, turning right on here because this is a, he said they called it a static drop and this drags. Uh, if we do trade, I will uh, I will swap that out. I will swap those shocks out. I definitely don't want to uh, deal with that, okay? Well, light works at least. Clutch feels really hard. Okay. Hey! Uh, let's wait a few minutes. All right. I don't know if you guys heard the, uh, the echoes of Mordor out there, but we're going to wait just a little bit. Just a few minutes. Let this thing see if it'll pass. We'll be right back with you. All right, fam. We, uh, we covered a couple things in this little video. It's a little bit shorter. I had a whole extra section uh, planned for it, but the size of the folder was going to make it like triple the length, so we decided to cut it off here. Uh, Renzo and I ended up not trading motorcycles that day. Uh, it, you guys saw the lightning and heard the thunder, I think, if I can get that edited in. And um, we ended up just hanging out in the garage for a couple hours drinking beer, which was the first time since I moved over here that, you know, I had that with somebody. And, and Renzo's pretty cool, so uh, maybe we'll stay in touch and uh, he'll be a regular around, who knows? But, uh, you know, the more we talked, it was, you know, his clutch was, way out of adjustment. Uh, I helped him, you know, adjust his clutch for the first time, but there still, there wasn't enough room to adjust it. Whoever had it before him had zip ties, you know, making the clutch cable a little bit longer, and I didn't feel good about it. The ignition switch, you had to turn it twice to turn the bike on instead of just once. Uh, one of the passing lamps was out. I just, uh, I didn't feel comfortable about the trade. Uh, totally worked out for him because shortly after we decided to no-go on the trade, he ended up trading that, uh, that Heritage in on a chopper. So he's excited about that. You know, I want to stay in touch with that guy, maybe bring him over so we can see that chopper. So what are we doing with the Dyna? Well, I, uh, we're, still, we're still working on it. You know, I had a couple comments on, I had a video where I said this bike is a disaster. And a couple comments was like, oh, it's clickbait. Nah, whatever. I mean, it's the nature of the game, right? But... Uh, we still haven't ridden the Dyna in a few weeks and the, the, the oil pressure thing is still a problem. I've got some troubleshooting steps to take care of. Uh, your old uncle is getting closer to the 50 mark and uh, I got tired of laying on the ground all the time. So yesterday, yesterday we picked up this lift. I'm excited about that. I don't like how high that, that uh, release pedal sticks up, but yeah, look, she's... I gotta put the oil pan underneath that thing. This thing is crazy. So we got some problems to figure out with this one. I gotta clean some of this stuff up. You'll notice that the pressure washing trailer is now gone. Uh, I have decided to close up shop on that piece of my ventures. Uh, I can't work full time. I did get a new job. Um, I, 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 I might talk about that at some point, but a much better paying job with better benefits. And uh, I, I couldn't see working full time 
trying to build this pressure washing business and doing YouTube, and even though YouTube doesn't really pay a whole lot, it is a passion project of mine and I enjoy doing it. So uh, I decided to cut one of those out and pressure washing was it. So we sold the trailer and uh, we're gonna keep working on this. So I think the next video might be working on this. It might be another thing that I had planned. So I appreciate you coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, we'll see you later.